Okay, so we're going to draw an involute of a circle. So we start by finding a plane and drawing a circle. Let's give the circle a dimension. And then let's divide it up into eight equal pieces. So we're going to take this reference line, create a circular pattern about the middle of the circle, eight sections, and we're going to, we're going to use these reference points to start forming the involute. So, so we have a circumference and we're going to draw a line from one of these and this is where the involute is going to start and end. So the start of this line is where it ends and the end of the line is where it starts. So diameter times pi equals circumference. This line represents the circumference. And we're going to take this line and we're going to divide it up into eight equal parts. So you can see the circumference, if I measure, is 314.16. That's the same as the length of the line. So, okay, so we're going to draw lines of tangents from each of the reference points we've put in. And the lines are going to get shorter as we move around because we get closer to the middle to the endpoint of the involute. So I'm just putting the lines in and linking them loosely at the moment. They're all going to become tangent to the circle in a moment. And they're going to shrink in size as we get closer to the end of the circumference. So they're going to get shorter by an eighth every time. I'm going to do this the slow way. So we're going to take this sketch dimension, 314. So we've divided it by, by 8. And the next one is tangent. And then dimension it equals the, orig the original dimension. Whoops, we put this in the wrong place. Equals the original dimension divided by 8 times 2. So it's uh, two, 2 slices of the circumference as opposed to 8. The next one is 3 portions of the circumference because it's 3 portions away from where the endpoint is going to be. divided by 8 times 3. Next one is going to be divided by 8 times 4. Okay, let's just sort out this relation, this constraint first. Might be easier to just make it horizontal since it is. So you can see the first line, the longest line is 8. 8 is actually a full circumference away from the endpoint. The second one is 7 portions, you know, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and, on, and then so. So we're up to five, now six. I'm sure there are other ways of doing this. I'm certain there are. I've just chosen to use this way to do this in this particular tutorial. So the last one. So I've chosen eight sections, but you can do this in 12, you can do more, you can do less. 
So now we can draw, we've got all our reference geometry. Let's make it all reference construction. And let's draw our envelope. So first reference point, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, and finish. And that's the envelope. And that's how you draw the envelope of the circle.